I recently built this massive clock tower with working dials and a bell. I had the idea for this tower during the release of the new 19.4 update. The new entities that just got added are so useful. If you haven't already seen it, check out my last video where I made a working piano using the new block displays and interactions. It was essentially just 6 minutes of me foaming at the mouth because the new update is so sick. But I knew I had to do something else with them, so I decided to make a clock. A working clock wouldn't be complete without a tower to put it on though, so I built that first. There's a link in the description where you can download the schematic for this clock tower. That way you'll be able to put it anywhere in your world, just like I've done here. Okay, let's make the clock. First, I'll remove the blocks on the face of the clock so that I have a blank space to work with. Using the new entities, I'll summon a netherite block display for the minute hand. Then I'll summon a placeholder marker entity that will store the time of day. The rotation of both hands will be controlled by this value that the marker entity stores, but just directly using the time of day value doesn't work because Minecraft starts at zero ticks, and yet it looks like morning. So by adding 6,000 to the score, aka 6 hours, zero will be displayed at 6 o'clock, right in the morning. That way noon will also be at exactly 12,000 ticks. Now I'll map this time score onto the rotation of the minute hand. It's not as simple as just setting the value though, because 24,000 ticks doesn't directly correlate to 360 degrees. And it's not as easy as just saying, oh, I'll use a scaling factor of 12 because there are 12 hours on a clock. That'll be way too fast. Instead, we have to use a scaling factor that converts between ticks of the day and degrees of rotation. You know what that means? Math. I used a unit conversion to go from days per tick to rotations per tick to degrees per tick. And there's our scaling factor, 0.36. Wasn't that fun? Let's do it again for the hour hand! Yippee! This process is exactly the same, only it'll have a different tag, it'll have a different scale, and it'll have a different factor of conversion. I'll also go around and add light blocks to the face so that you can see the time at night as well. Okay, now it's done. Wait. There's three more sides. For the other sides, it's the exact same process, except I had to rotate the block displays so that they didn't rotate about the wrong axis. That doesn't look right. The cool thing about the block display entities is that they also have a tag to set how far away you can see them. If I had used armor stands for this, they would have stopped loading at a much closer distance, which is kind of useless considering you'd only really ever see the clock from all the way down here. I also experimented with using stop motion to animate the clock hands, but that ended up not being a very accurate way of representing the exact time. Plus, it looked like a visual representation of the fourth dimension. Trust me, that is not a good thing. This would be the least efficient way to animate the clock on all four sides. And now the absolute last thing I have to do to clean up the tower is make a data pack for the world, then take the command blocks and just violently throw them in. So now that we got the clock working, I wanted to add a ringing bell. For this, I just used the time scoreboard from earlier on the marker entity, and I check at certain times to play the sound of a player ringing a bell but it's pitched way down because the bell is supposed to be massive. Originally, it was supposed to ring out every hour to announce the time, so three rings for three o'clock, eight rings for eight, and so on. But as you can imagine, that turns out to be pretty horrendous right about noon. Okay, I get it. Stop! Stop! So instead, I settled for having it ring six times, three times at dusk and three times at dawn. More specifically, the bell rings exactly when you can sleep. And exactly when you wake up. So now you don't have to sit there spamming the shit out of your bed every night. And that's the clock tower. I had originally wanted to get more extravagant for this video by decorating the interior and adding all sorts of cool features inside, but I was running out of time trying to get this video out for the new update, because that's what I'm hoping most people will get clickbaited in by the title of the video. 
Feel free to download the schematic from the description yourself and decorate this hollow shell of a build. Before I go, I also wanted to thank you all for your support on that piano video I was talking about. That video is easily the best reception I've ever gotten on this channel, so I appreciate all of you new subscribers who are leaving super nice comments on that video. Alright, cool. I, I think, I think we're done here.